In a complex and ever-changing world, we rely heavily on the advancements made in medical research to ensure we all live healthy, more productive lives. Located in Winnipeg, Canada, the University of Manitoba is home to advanced medical training and is one of the country's most established medical schools. With its sterling reputation and proud history spanning over 125 years, the university has not only trained some of the best and brightest physicians, but also produced truly groundbreaking research. These findings have had global implications on healthcare and improved the lives of millions of people throughout the world. The Faculty of Medicine has seen many improvements thanks to the tireless leadership of Dean Sandham. Spearheading multi-million dollar facilities, he has helped achieve the faculty's largest medical class in history. We here in the Faculty of Medicine, University of Manitoba are particularly proud of our research endeavor. It's an essential element of our professional school. Our school has a particularly dynamic and vibrant feel right now because of a 50% increase in enrollment over the last eight years and growth in all areas. The support for our research endeavor here in the Faculty of Medicine under the leadership of Dr. Patrick Choi, Associate Dean of Research, has grown dramatically. Ten years ago, it was $45 million annually, and this year, it's over $110 million. Research is an absolutely essential component of what we do, and our brightest hope for new cures and treatments for the illnesses chronic and acute that still trouble us all. We're very proud of what we do in that area. The goals for research at the faculty is to be one of the world's preeminent medical faculties with world-class leadership in selected areas of expertise, to continue to be respected for its capacities in health research and innovations, as well as for advancing and disseminating biomedical knowledge. Dr. Choi is an international leader in the study of lipids and lipoproteins in the heart. The impact of his scientific insights continue to greatly influence many of the investigative leaders he has mentored over the last three decades. His findings continue to ripple through the worldwide research community. Research plays a key role in modern medicine. And without research, there's no new treatment of diseases. The goal of the faculty is to have the clinicians and scientists working together for new discoveries and ways to make the world a much better place to live. There are four pillars of research currently conducted by the Faculty of Medicine at the University of Manitoba. Basic medical research is to understand how the body works in health and disease. Clinical research is to apply these findings for the treatment of human disease. Population health research deals with the community health and epidemiology, and research in health policy provides the groundwork for efficient and safe delivery of health services. Dr. Laurie Kirschenbaum's research is directed toward understanding the molecular mechanisms that tell the cells of the heart when to live and when to die. The research over the past several years in my lab has identified that a particular gene that's responsible for causing heart cells to die is switched on when a person is having a heart attack. And our goal over the next several years is to understand how we can switch on and switch off this death gene during a heart attack. And so we hope that our work in the heart can help develop new therapies to help people worldwide. Breakthroughs in science overall have been uh, leaps and bounds. We have first-rate infrastructure, and I believe that the work that we do is as good as anywhere else in the world. Uh, I'm Dr. Jeff Hicks. I'm the director of the Regenerative Medicine Program at the Faculty of Medicine here at the University of Manitoba. One of the things that we're really excited about is a new program in regenerative medicine. This is the applications of stem cells or stem cell therapies towards the treatment of many human diseases. The application of regenerative medicine to these diseases it will be profound. Collaborating with an international team of scientists, this research creates and targets gene mutations in mice in the hopes of understanding how cancer cells work and ultimately how they might be cured. Manitoba is leading. It is a national center of excellence in cancer biology, in regenerative medicine, in spinal cord injury repair, in cardiovascular sciences. It's something that I think every Manitoban can be proud of. Manitoba is a world leader in the development of research-based public health policy. I'm Patricia Martins, 
and I'm the director of the Manitoba Centre for Health Policy. We have a repository of data that is able to be linked across various health records, vital statistics, things like public housing, family assistance, all sorts of interesting programs. The University of Manitoba uh, including our own Faculty of Medicine and our Department of Community Health Sciences must work together. The beauty of knowing each other is that you come across these serendipitous relationships where you suddenly find out that somebody is doing research that you could contribute to in a very different kind of way than they had thought of before. My name is uh, Jim Davey and I'm a professor in the Department of Biochemistry and Medical Genetics. A lot of the research that I'm doing is looking at epigenetic processes. We have a new way of treating these reversible diseases by a process called epigenetic therapy. And epigenetic therapy allows you to take either drugs or diet and actually try to correct the epigenetic process to make it more normal. With the University of Manitoba and infrastructure, we have state-of-the-art microscopy and the most talented individuals you'll find on the face of the planet. Dr. John Wilkins' research focuses on determining the protein levels of cells and tissue, which could lead to the development of technologies for the early diagnosis or treatment of diseases. Proteomics is a, a general field where the, where the approach is to try and identify simultaneously as many species of proteins at one time. Really one of the major uh, biomedical applications is that it can be used to uh, identify candidate markers of disease or understand what the processes of those diseases are. One of the strengths of the University of Manitoba is the consolidation of that expertise and in that, that instrumentation. It provides a means of easy access but also of, of a resource of expertise. Allergies are the most common chronic human immune disease. Dr. Hayglass's laboratory targets understanding of how the immune response is turned on and controlled. I moved to Winnipeg in 1986 uh, from my lab at Harvard. There was critical mass here and that was very appealing for me because for any scientist to be successful they need colleagues that are active and engaged and interested in what they're doing that you can bounce your ideas off of. The main focus of my lab is to understand how the immune response is regulated because the immune response is key and understanding how it works, how it's turned on, determines how our health works out. There's just an amazing number of opportunities that are out there for people who are interested in discovery, who are curious and critically minded. And the University of Manitoba offers tremendous opportunities for individuals who want to take that career path. Frank Plummer is internationally recognized for his work in public health and science. His pioneering work on AIDS research in Africa continues to offer hope for a vaccine. My work is focused on trying to understand natural immunity to HIV by studying people who are exposed to HIV but don't get infected. All of our research is focused on the group of about 150 women now who appear to be uh, resistant to HIV. If we can understand what's protecting them and why they develop this immunity, we, I think we'll be able to design an effective HIV vaccine. The University of Manitoba established a collaborative relationship with the University of Nairobi in 1980 and we've never looked back. We gradually built up the program from a very small operation with almost no budget to uh, quite a large one with a budget of uh, several million dollars a year now. For more than a century, the Faculty of Medicine at the University of Manitoba has trained and developed some of the best and brightest physicians and scientists. Whatever is being done in the research lab may sometimes take decades before it can be put into clinical use. But if we don't do research, then everything stops. No new research, no new cure. Thanks to the first-class research and the professors who provide it, the Faculty of Medicine at the University of Manitoba has played a lead role on the world stage in improving the quality of life around the globe.